Atlanta's number one hip hop station. Hot 1079. You rocking with your homegirl, DJ Jazzy T. And in the building right now, the one and only K Kim, aka yeah. Mr. Float. What's happening? What's, What's happening? What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, man. Tired as hell, but we're gonna make it we're gonna make it work. Yeah, yeah. Well, new album is out. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, so Float how- to London. Yeah, Float to London is out. Yeah. I've been streaming it. Thank you. I went to the uh, listening event on Monday. It was such you a did. vibe. I seen you out there. Yeah, Appreciate man. you for Shout coming out. Shout out to my boy Ty. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So before we get into the album, I want to talk about a couple of new changes that has happened for yeah. the past year. Okay. Um, starting with, you're an independent artist now on your own label. For sure. How for was sure. that, man? Tell me about that. Um, It's been something that's been in the making for years. You know, I've been signing uh, Interscope since 2014. So, you know what I'm saying, this mission been a mission for years just to go independent and see, and see what I can do on my own. And this, this past year, I've been independent, really running it for real. Uh, two independent tours, dropped an EP last year, Spin the Block, had a single come off that. Um, did a deal with TikTok, independent deal with TikTok. Um, I just, I'm just running it. You know what I'm saying, everything that I, that, I, that I wanted to do, I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying, this today, just dropped my first official independent album, so... Yeah, you're moving Everything. like a boss. Yeah, you're moving I'm like moving. a boss. I'm you couldn't tell me you was independent you the way you're moving. Yo, we were talking about the other day. Like, folks can't tell that I'm still, you know what I'm saying? We working one, though. Now, my question is, and then we'll get to the album, would you ever potentially sign with a major? Or is it rare sound over any sound? <laughs> it's definitely rare sound over any sound, for sure. But um, partnerships, for sure. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We all know what this game is. It's all about market share. It's all about leverage and uh, acquisition. So we know the majors got the biggest acquisition in the game. So... Doing a partnership and handling some business and licensing my music, yeah, for sure. But as far as like just signing a deal and being under a label, label stuck like that, nah, I wouldn't do that. Okay. Yeah, okay. we know too much now. Yeah, man, he yeah. a boss now. Yeah, for sure. We know everything way too changed. Much. Everything for sure, changed. For sure. All right, man, let's get to the album talk. Album talk. Float in London dropped today. Yeah. Yeah, and it says executive produced yeah. by Float and Trapping in London. For so sure. For sure. W- when you say executive produced, that mm-hmm. mean you you was hopping on some beats or you yeah, I got two collab- beats on there. Okay. I got two beats on there. When I, you know, what I'm saying when I say executive produce, I really be in there though. Like, yeah. you know, saying so shout out my boy London. He he did his thing too. But I be in there. I be tracking out. I was about to start cussing. Tracking out uh, <laughs> records. Uh, mixing. I do a lot, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I do a now, lot. Tra- Trapping in London. He's an up and coming producer. How was that collab? Like, how did y'all team up? Uh, Trapping in London signed a uh, Red Sound. Okay. Yeah, he he wanted to produce the sound of my label. Um. We had a lab, uh, a studio, my bad, a studio that we closed down last year. But we was in there for, what, three and a half years, and Trapped in London started off as an intern. Nice. You know, and um, he, he started locking in with my uh, artist, True Story G. And I took a liking to uh, London just off his work ethic. You know what I'm saying? I knew he had hard beats, but I knew they could. If I gave him some time there, you know what I'm saying, end mm-hmm. up, you know what I'm saying, gradually becoming what I want. You know what I'm saying? So I just let him cook up with artists that was around. And I told him, hey, what you trying to do? You ready now? You know what I'm saying? And we've been working on this project for probably like six, seven months on and off. Went through so many records. We recorded probably like 40, 50 songs. Dang. So a lot of songs didn't make it. A lot of hard shit. So, excuse my friend. A lot of hard <laughs> stuff didn't make the uh, album. But, you know, we put the right ones together, and I'm proud of them. Yeah, man. Yeah, and sure. I heard the album, Float in London. Let me tell you something. It's probably one of the best albums I've heard Appreciate in a while. It. Appreciate so, it. So, you Appreciate know, it. so with that being said, um, Features on it is wild, man. You got, yeah, you know, Sleazy World, the artist, Huncho, mm-hmm. uh, No Cal, Bory, Seti Hendrix. Yeah, we don't ba- sure. Like, features go crazy. So, with those collabs, did th- you said a lot of tracks didn't make the album. Yeah. But with those collabs, why those, you know what I'm saying, those specific artists? Um, It's crazy how everyone came about, though. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, at this point in my career, I rock with who rock with me. I ain't chasing nobody. I ain't, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, blow a nigga phone up for a feature. I'm rocking with who rock with me. And all them features, like, it just happened. Honcho had a, uh, uh album release or a mixtape release at my studio. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Kevin Lyles, the whole 300 was in my studio. He had a release. That's how I met Honcho. You know what I'm saying? That's how we locked in. Um, Fred O'Bangs, I ran into him at the airport. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We just crossed paths and exchanged numbers. I said, I got something for him. Send it to him. He sent me the verse back two days later. Seti, that's my boy. We've been on Seti. Seti been at the studio for years. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the that's the dog. Um, artist reached out to her on on, on Instagram. I seen her little clip go viral. I reached out to her. Who else? Who else? Oh. Your name? Vori. That's my dog. He pop up. I pop up on Vori all the time. You know what I'm saying? One of the most talented dudes in the game. 
Who else on the album? Uh, no cap. One of my favorite songs actually. No cap. On the song, so, on the album, uh, man, the flowers, man, yeah, listen, let me so take my crazy flowers. That's too. You know what I'm saying? He just hit me up randomly. He, it's crazy, man. Me and no cap, like he DM me last year. I DM him back, and we ain't speak for like four, five months later. It's like a little, little, little tip for tat. You know, he hit me. I hit him back. Nobody responded. I don't respond. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Then I put out that no, uh, my flowers first out on YouTube and it, and it went up. And hit me again like, hey, I need to get on it. Yeah. <laughs> Open the verse. Mm-hmm. That's how that came about. Nah, that line acting like an ex. You know, I took that to heart you this feel morning. Me? I was you singing. Feel me? Like, mm-hmm. I was so yeah, man. Oh, so God. definitely. But if don't nobody else do it, and normally I don't get no man no flowers, but yeah. on this interview right here, sure. I'm giving you your Appreciate flowers, that. KK. Appreciate that. Man, you've been holding it down for a year, damn a decade oh, God. now. Oh, God. So you know what I'm saying? Oh, you talented. You know, I'm super excited to see where you're going to go now because, man, you're doing it yourself now. Yeah, you move moving different. For sure, for sure. And I love the way you move moving, man. Thank Shout you. out to your team. Shout Thank out you. to your people. My boy DJ Genius, he ain't in yeah. here, but that's my dog. Yeah, and Genius man, got to I'm, a little argument in the morning. <laughs> a friendly argument. He tried to tell me and post something. I'm like, I'm not posting that. But that's yeah, my dog. That's my yeah. brother. Some other tracks on the um, the album, Dead Wrong. I saw that you put out uh, the video with Younger Free. Now, did you shoot that in London? Yeah, I flew to London and shot all the content. Okay. Yeah, so how was London like? <laughs> <laughs> I love London. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't wanna come back. Really? I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. It's a whole different vibe, you know what I'm saying? Just a different aesthetic out there. And um it just it just gave me um inspiration and motivation to tap into a different sound of music though. I wanted to come back and drop floats in London, but I got inspired out there by the artists they had out there. There was a lot of different vibes that we ain't on yet mm-hmm. that I try to tap into when I got back. But I got another album coming probably on my birthday. With, with, you know, it's like a, Okay, so you got some UK artists on there? I got one artist already tapped in, but okay. I, I'm going to grab some more. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. Well, listen, Floating in London is out now. Yeah. It's on all streaming platforms. For sure. Go run them numbers up. For sure. And yeah, man, and I appreciate you coming in, showing love to your Thanks girl, for having Jazzy me, man. T. Man, and uh, my qu- one last question. Now that you're moving with independent, I do have to ask, because I know a lot of independent artists, what advice do you have for up-and-coming or current independent artists? Um, for that advice, if you're going to do it, you're going to have to do it for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have to put that money up. This ain't for the week. You know what I'm saying? If you really want to take your career into your own hands and, and, and you're serious about your craft, you know what I'm saying? Just take this shit serious. Like, it's 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 for the it's for the it's for the ones who really want it. Cause you know what I'm saying? There's been plenty of days I wake up like, man, hell no, nah, I ain't, I ain't. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but you got to see the bigger picture. You know what I'm saying? You got to know what you give. You got you got to be standing on something, and have some type of purpose, and know what you' trying to get out of it. Not just for the for the money, for the chain, for the car. You know what I'm saying? You got to really know what you want out of this shit, and like stay down and keep that vision and just keep going. A lot of folks ain't gonna see it. A lot of folks ain't gonna see it for years. You know what I'm saying? If you see it, I'm telling you, it's worth it. Look yeah, at me, you know what I'm saying? They ain't see it. When I first came out, they seen it. Then when shit got rocky, they was like, ah, we still seen it. You know what I'm saying? Look at us now. Look at us now. Look at us now. All right, man. So Float in London, can we get some merch or how can people check oh, yeah, out the merch? I'm about to drop the merch in a couple of days. All oh, that's rolling out. Okay. You know what I'm saying? still the rollout. The rollout is still okay, going. Okay, okay. I mean, trip. All right, again, Float in London in all, all stream platforms right now. Run them numbers up. Camp K Camp Float, we appreciate you, man. Thank you. We at Canada Land tonight. Shout out to 2 Chain. <laughs> yeah. Cool. What's up? What you going to say, Ty? Oh, okay. <laughs> I heard you. Okay, okay, okay. I heard that little whistle. All right. <laughs> <laughs>